Welcome. Thank you. Uh, I'm Jack Dangerman with ESRI, and this is my colleague Richard Werman, uh, who invented TED and TED Talks. Many of you know those. Uh, we have recently gotten together to come up with a new idea called the Urban Observatory. And this Urban Observatory is a computer, web, internet-based environment where people can share, cities can share their information about maps and geography. And other people on the web can access those maps and geography and compare them. If we established a common language between all the cities in the world, or at least some of the big ones in the beginning, uh, we could actually compare them through common language and learn something. For me, one of the things you taught me was comparative analysis, that we learn through comparison. The notion that we would have a common benchmark graphically to look at one city, pan and zoom on it, and look at another city, different indicators within those cities, mm -hmm. like health indicators, housing indicators, transportation indicators, and we could suddenly drag and drop and compare different cities around the world. That's what really got me actually excited. And, and actually what we're trying to do in this particular project is set up a cloud-based system uh, where different cities could put up their city, a series of indicator maps, and allow people like me to pull in those web services, maps, and put them next to each other, and then pan and zoom and, and compare them see the patterns here versus the patterns there. Some of the layers or indicators that we intend to have in the system will be static. Land use doesn't change that frequently. Uh, location of big facilities doesn't change, but some of it can be dynamic, like the weather or like traffic. For land use planners, this is a gold mine of understanding. And the reason we're choosing some large cities is not because they're more important, but we will discover issues at this large scale that can help us with cities of all size. I think one city could look at other cities relative to their city and learn mm -hmm. something. I mm -hmm. think that's what you're saying. Yeah. So it's a matter of sharing, not really what I'd call best practices, but sharing the patterns of what exists in one society, one expression based on landscape or cultural values uh, versus another city. So what can we learn as New Yorkers about from Tokyo? Mm -hmm. or from uh, people in Tokyo looking at Abu Dhabi or people in Abu Dhabi looking at New Delhi or Rio or Auckland or any of these great cities around the world. Subsequent years, other cities will join and share their, their little world so and that other people can see it. it. And keep on adding. So that very gradually, we will crowdsource urban observatories for the entire world. I think what we have in mind is the idea of inviting uh, 10 cities to provide their information into this web environment so that they can be compared. And that means a little bit of work on behalf of each city, uh, but most of the work we'll do behind the scenes in actually editing and authoring these maps and putting them into a frame so they can be easily compared mm -hmm. one city relative to another. Uh, so part of the interest that we have is letting a few cities know about this to uh, elicit interest because we want partners who are genuinely interested in having their cities compared to other cities in the world. Not in terms of ranking, that's not the interest. Mm -hmm. It's qualitative uh, understanding that we're really interested in, in building. But potentially a viral idea because we think it's so clear and seductive to see things relative to each other that everybody's want to going to come in and play. Why wouldn't you do that from the start? Why wouldn't you be able to talk to each other and plan together and play together and create together and make better decisions together? Why wouldn't you? So there's no... Leveraging ideas and knowledge from one yeah. city to the other. Yeah.